together because that's the way the law groups them together. Okay, so even though even tonight we're going to talk about the solar aspect of it, you do need to remember that this really covers all three alternative energy systems. So the thing that has made so much interest in the solar right now, and the reason that I'm here tonight, the reason this is an issue, the reason that people are talking about this, is because of the cost of the technology involved. It is one reason that solar has become more attractive. And then, of course, the big thing is that there are government subsidies which make solar somewhat attractive. So when you bring those two things together, you now have landowners who, uh, you know, it may even affect some of you here, who have expressed interest in this. Uh, we have landowners that have approached me about it. And obviously the solar companies are making, uh, you know, mailings. Any of you that have, you know, certain tracts of land in certain locations have probably gotten these mailings already. So what we want to talk about tonight, um, and this obviously to hopefully answer some questions for the board and also for the public, uh, the two main things from, from my end, we're not going to talk about the technical aspects of this too much, but are alternative energy systems taxable? And remember what the alternative energy systems are. Solar, farm waste, and wind. So are they taxable? And then how is the value 